What's going on YouTube? Dave back again and today I am super stoked. I got a package in that I had ordered through a seller on Amazon and it actually ended up arriving today. Now I know this is probably a little bit late because a few people have already gotten them, I don't know, what, a month or so ago already in Japan? But the seller was out of Japan. Most of the other sellers are have a, about an April 25th release and uh, yeah, I couldn't wait that long. So, as usual, you will be able to find this down in the description. Clicking on the link helps me out a little bit. Helps me uh, do some giveaways and stuff for you guys. With that out of the way, today we are going to be taking a look at and unboxing the Providence Gundam Premium Edition. All right, starting off taking a look at the manual as I usually do. We're going to go through it, let you guys see what all instructions are in here, and then we'll go over the runners. Taking a look at page two, we have the development of mobile suit equipped with Dragoon system. Forbidden power unleashed by Zaft. Providence Gundam's weapons. You have your typical do's and don'ts and the way that they've been doing with the new master grades of giving you basically a diagram of how the instructions are laid out. You get your typical runner layout on here with this being the premium edition. You do get water slides and you do get the base and the rest of the base system over here we will go over that shortly pages six and seven being the body unit itself and the beginning of the head runners eight and nine the head unit the arms unit the shoulders and then combining everything together and then the beginning of the waist unit pages 10 and 11 you get the waist unit beginning of the legs you get your regular center a fold out here giving you some information showing you with some panel lines what it can look like either plain or with some extra details in there pages 14 and 15 continuation of the legs combination adding the dragoons to the side skirts combining the upper body to the lower body and beginning of the backpack pages 16 and 17 being the finalization of building the backpack and then adding it onto the back of the kit right there. Pages 18 and 19 being the weapons, the shield system, which I believe attaches to the arm. Pages 20 and 21, how to put together the display base, adding in the arm and everything, attaching it to the kit, and then how to position the backpack system. Pages 22 and 23, showing you how to position the dragoons, how to attach the parts for taking them off and then you have where all the decals end up going and then of course you get the final shot on the back of the booklet in typical fashion in the box what's one of the things you end up seeing why it's an attachment to be able to buy more crap for your gundam that's right so i guess uh you can end up getting these uh effect parts to go on there um I don't know. I just see it as a money grab, but if you choose to, you, I guess you can pick that up. So if you hold on, I'm sure you'll be able to find it third party, either in resin or plastic at a fraction of the cost. Uh, I am not a big fan of all these extra add-ons that they end up doing as premium. Um, I don't know if this is going to be an exclusive as well. I'll give you kind of some thoughts at the end if I remember to about the whole premium thing. All right, so normally I end up saving these for the last, but I think there's been a couple times I've ended up missing them and I don't want to on this kit. So two other things that you end up getting, you do get one foil package with a couple of foil pieces. You've got for the eyes, I believe these are for the gun, um, one of the other sensors and maybe for the head crest. You do also get dry dry transfers over here. You do get one sticker sheet with your normal decals. You've got your Zaft. You've got all your different warning signs, all your different call numbers, things like that. All right, another item that you end up getting is you get a giant sheet of water slides, and this is only with the premium edition. I'm sure you will be able to pick these up. Again, um, they will sell them separately, and you can get them as aftermarket somewhere online you know you'll be able to find them. All right guys, so starting off with runner A, you get a beam effect part over here. You get some dark red parts over here. You've got some feet, uh, looks like a head cap over here, some dark blue. Then you get this mustard color yellow on here. Now the reason I have this separated is that's how it ended up coming in the package. 
in all of the kits I've ended up opening and building, I have never had this end up happening where there was a section that ended up being a separated. So I thought I'd show you guys it was kind of funky. Runner B, and you're going to end up seeing a, a lot of the kit in this color. It's almost a bluish gray. I kind of like it. There do seem to be a lot of panel line details that are on here. You've got part of the faceplate. You've got head pieces up here. I'm going to assume that these are leg pieces just from the bulk of them. Runner C is the big chunks of the backpack over here. And as you can see from the details, there is a lot that can be popped out using some panel lining. Runner D, you actually get two of the them being duplicates. Runner E, you get some thruster pieces, and there are actually two of these, some of the dragoons that are on here. Runner F1 being a frame parts, and this is in that brownish gray color that Bandai has seemed to adopted here in the last, I don't know, year or so for their frame pieces. I do have to say I am quite impressed with some of the details that are on here like the bottom of the feet, some of the vent pieces. Uh, this kit has really needed this upgrade. Runner F2 just being half of F1 for duplicate parts. Runner G being the gun weapon system. Runner I, you have some of the different um, gun parts that are on here. Looks like you have some hip joints over here. Maybe a backpack piece over here, some hands. Runner J, you get some leg pieces over here. Thinks these are some skirt pieces. There are two of these runners in full. Runner H1, these are in a rubbery plastic material. I believe these are the cables that go underneath the chest. And then these are around the waist. I'm not for sure on that, but yeah, they're very, very rubbery. Runner H2, these are the extensions to reflect uh, the Dragoons launching off of the backpack. You also get weapon gun lens, lenses here, the faceplate, and also head crest clear pieces. Runner BA, you get some of the base materials that are on here. These are in a smoky color as you can see. Last but not least, you end up getting the base, which is part of the premium edition. And to be honest, you know, before I even build this up and do an actual review, I, I'm kind of going to give a review of just opening the box and everything. Premium edition, giving the price difference and everything, depending on where you end up getting it. And you know, I've seen it 20, $30 more than the regular edition. I think the link I have down in this description for the regular master grade version is $52. And what I can end up finding is almost $80 for the premium edition, if you can get one. And personally myself, I don't, I would just go with a regular edition. Um, you're going to be able to pick up aftermarket bases um, and they'll probably even release something uh, but unless you're just hell-bent on getting the premium edition and you want this base I mean look it's a nice pearlescent red but you get all these marks in there I would recommend probably painting I wouldn't probably recommend I would recommend painting this uh, if you end up getting it which kind of nullifies the whole point that it's a nice sparkly red and it is pretty nice it's just one of these days Bandai will actually figure out how to do their injection molding with the metallics in there, be it how they end up doing their gold, things like that, and get it without all these in there. I mean, come on, if Kotobukiya can do it, you can do it, Bandai. All right, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed that. It was just a quick unboxing and letting you guys see what comes in the box for the Providence Gundam Premium Edition from Bandai and a quick uh, kind, of, kind of thought at the end. Um, definitely stay tuned. I'm going to get this built up for you guys, maybe do some lining on it, and give you my full review. Probably will not be until next week because I have a few things on my plate right now, and I end up working over the weekend as well, so it's going to be a long week. Thanks for hanging out with me, YouTube. If you like what you see and you want to see more, click that subscribe button. Check out my last video right over there. I will talk to you guys all later in the next video. Thanks for hanging out. Peace out, YouTube.